15 degrees out here and these are my little slider and cooter turtles hibernating beneath the ice you can see there's one here still active We're getting down to uh, single digits tonight though, so I'm going to bust this ice and bring all these guys in. It's going to be way too cold for them to stay out here tonight. guy moving around under there. pretty amazing they're able to tolerate this stuff but uh, I'm not gonna make them endure single digit temperatures tonight I've never had that out here I've never hibernated any turtles outdoors in a single digit temperature so I'm not I'm not gonna try it under there before I scoop them up with the net. Now they normally had a, uh, a heat lamp out here on the koi pond to keep at least one end of it above freezing so that uh, they would have uh, a place to come up for air although they uh, they come up very infrequently when they're hibernating but uh, with the sleet and snow I was afraid it would short out the heat lamp or it uh, might get blown into the water by the force of the wind and uh, I didn't want to electrocute the turtle so I covered the pond over with with a section of plywood and then uh, laid quilts over on top of that but as you can see it didn't keep the uh, water underneath from freezing an inch thick layer of ice over the top of it A lot of people don't understand these these turtles are common in the eastern United States, the Midwest, and uh, in the wild they do 
go through some of these conditions, although it's not too often they endure temperatures this cold. But in the rivers and lakes and streams, it uh, tends to be a lot deeper water than this, so they, they, can, they are very cold tolerant and ready to slide. and basking. They were out on top of that cinder block basking. So I'm going to get these guys inside and uh, take them into the hibernation room. Actually the uh, the cold room at the uh, rear of my house that I'm using for the, the uh, hibernation room. It was uh, 34 degrees in there this morning. So reason in that room it was actually so cold that I felt the need to layer some quilts on top of some of the aquariums in there and the uh, the kiddie pools filled with hay that the box turtles are in. I threw some quilts over just uh, to keep them from getting frostbite. I actually might have to put some heat lamps in there just to maintain a decent hibernation temperature without without them freezing to death.